Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like this video, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel that you need to do. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to support you in the energy. There is a 99.9% .9 chance, though, that Spirit's got some type of message by way of clarification. Maybe you need to make a determination about something really important on your spiritual journey, right? So you were guided here for a reason. Whatever that reason is, I pray that you're so connected to your higher self that you know. You can discern what energy belongs to you with information by way of the truth being exposed here in spiritual court. And I also hope that you can discern what you need to lay down by way of information in the reading for somebody else to take and apply to their own situation. Just keep in mind that as truth tellers, as the high priest is, we do read energy, okay? So don't shoot. We're just the messengers. Not to minimize what we do, but listen... <laughs> I'm going to need you to come on in here and get this spiritual work. Prepare yourself to have a spirit that can receive the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, be it good, bad, or indifferent. At the end of the day, the truth is always going to be your best asset. So shall it be. That is my spiritual disclaimer to you. Now, welcome. Hey there. Hi there to spiritual court. If you're returning back to the channel, then baby, you already know because you're getting the downloads just like me. You're getting the confirmations just like me. We are connected by way of being the high vibrational soul tribe family. We are the chosen ones. Even when we didn't know that we were chosen, now we know that we're chosen. It seems to still be causing up some type of, um, it's causing, excuse me, some type of interesting stir in the ethers as it has always done. Again, even before you realized who you truly were, completely awakened, it was still a problem. Somebody hated you even in your unconscious energy. Why? Because they always knew the path. They always knew the destiny. They abused their power and they wanted to stop you from doing what it is that you needed to do. It's a very redundant as old stale story that we're now putting to bed permanently and to rest. You are my wonderful soul tribe family. I love you. I love you so much. I hope you feel that. I love you. You love me, we're a happy family with a great big kiss and a hug from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Listen, come on in here now that we got all the hugging and the kissing out of the way. I'm going to tell you something. You got some high-ranked people watching, trying to figure out how we got access to our Akashic records in a way that they never could. Somebody thought they had access to your Akashic records, but they absolutely did not. This is giving me, be, uh, what is this? Betrayal, excuse me. And two of wands energy, people at a distance. I'm talking high-ranked, y'all. People connected. People connected to the judicial system, law enforcement, they're angry that I'm about to pull their rank. There's a pastor, a minister out here abusing his power. Let me tell you something. He came to me in a dream state and he was begging me not to expose him. He even had the nerve to offer me a deal with the devil. I said, yo, what the hell you think this is? Even in the dream state, because I keep it a buck, I kept it real in the conversation. The way I shut him down very strategically, I'm like, yo, listen, I'm not selling my soul, fool. Look at you. You out here faking the phone, cloaking yourself as, as being a minister, a Christian minister. Okay. This is somebody that is a professional devil worshiper, honey. This person works with deities. They work with the devil directly. And they love being in the church because they like that beautiful naivete energy by way of the followers that are still unconscious, okay? These are the people that go to church, baby. They're not getting nothing out of it. They're starving. You give them a little bit of the word and they're looking to the minister to feed them when everything that they need is on the inside of them. Amen? May the church say amen. Listen, this person is not to be trusted. This person could be on a public platform, a 
getting their testimony about how they overcame the devil and did all this. And listen, I saw this person so clear in the dream state. I said, okay, spirit, this is my next assignment. So shall it be. What level do I have to be at in order to handle this level of an assignment? Because it's a global message. Something that's meant to reach all light beings and people that need to be awakened all over the world. And even the people that don't see the video, it is going out by way of the ethers. It's going to reach their spirit. It's going to awaken their soul. You're going to let my people go. Okay. Somebody wanted to trap somebody's souls, honey, doing rituals in the church house. This is what they do. Archangel Michael, can you please continue to put a shield of protection around me and the beautiful divine collective? As I channel this message and this energy, it's not an easy message, okay? Because this was somebody that was begging me, begging me, begging me. But again, somebody that abused their power. This person came up as a king of swords in reverse, a manipulator and a liar. A lot of dirt done in the past and they had run out of options. So somebody thought it'd be very, uh, you know, spiritually creative, if you will, to just, why not be a minister, okay? I can cloak myself in these people's energy and maybe I can sneak into the kingdom. This is what I'm getting, y'all. This is not somebody that's genuine. This is not somebody that you should follow. You need to call your power back. Show me this person, Archangel Michael, please, and thank you. Show me this person. I call upon the highest of white light. May the most high be here with me. May the most high give me permission to see this message. I told you this person came up as... A queen of swords and a king of swords. Now, in the previous read, they came up as a king of swords in the reverse. But they're not, I repeat, an air sign energy. This is somebody that's sharp. Right now, they're coming up in the upright. Now, on the surface, this person looks like somebody very responsible. Somebody that you would want to follow and or take advice from, right? This is why it's so important to follow your higher self. Even though we're family right? As individuals, we all know that we have to authentically be who we are and walk our own paths. We are family because that's a gift from the universe to give us other people as we go about this journey. What a beautiful human experience to be with people that genuinely love you and accept you for who you are and vice versa, right? It's equal give and take by way of mutual admiration. That's what the soul tribe family is for me, right? I love seeing my beautiful high priestess out here. I can see your light. I see it. I know my family when I see them. When I look into your eyes, it's a it's a familiar friend. When I say old, I mean old by way of our lifetimes. We've had many, many lifetimes. Now look at us here now again coming to do that spiritual work. So that's what I mean by that, right? Nevertheless, this is somebody that decided and thought it not robbery to be a teacher, be a leader. This is a minister, y'all. This person is in a church or they could travel, okay? And they're and listen, they are cloaking themselves in a lot of divine Christian energy. These are real true believers. This is why this message is coming out, because there absolutely are some real true believers in the church that understand that word, that have spiritual gifts. OK, he wants to turn them away from their spiritual gifts so that they can't see him. But he wants to cloak himself in their energy. Thank you, spirit. I'm calling on the creator of all things right now. I need source of all things to just be all over me, in me, because this person got some real powerful connections all over the world. These are some of the most powerful spiritual practitioners, the hermit. This person hides out, okay? This is giving me cloaking energy. When I see the hermit, I think of cloaks. I think of covens. I think of society, secret society groups, um... Yeah, sacred contracts, blood bound, bound by blood, brotherhoods, sisterhoods that are bound by blood to certain entities to carry out a certain work by way of their destiny, by way of what they feel that they're here to do. A lot of them are carrying out works that they never signed up for. They were just kind of initiated into by way of being children. Okay, so I'm getting the father's 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 father. Now this is the son of a lot of dark warlocks by way of this cloaking. This is what it's giving me. Somebody that's doing ceremonies and, and cloaking themselves in divine energy. Why the hermit? The hermit is the Virgo. She's innocent. In some stories, depending on how you see her, she has been seen to be the Virgin Mary. She's innocent. She gave birth to the Messiah, right? So this person is in this hermit energy because he's cloaking himself in innocent blood, innocent light. People that go within and really seek a direct connection to source. There's a lot of people that have followed him, watched him, 
And for whatever reason, they're silently exposing him. Sometimes what you don't say resonates very loud by way of volume, by way of a silent prayer. These are people that don't have to get loud. They don't have to cause a ruckus. Whoever these awakened people are that follow this person, this person travels all over the world. Eight of Wands, swift energy, Sagittarius energy. That's going to be significant, I'm sure, later in this reading. I can feel that it is. Queen of Swords, air energy. Again, somebody's coming up very, very, you know, age of Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. Very good communicator. Knows how to talk. Knows how to translate the scriptures, right? Libra energy wants to come and try to appear to be fair. This is this is the surface energy, y'all. Okay, this is what they look like. The hermit, somebody's cloaking, cloaking. That cloak is just screaming at me. Okay, cloak, eight of wands, Sagittarius energy, a swift moving action. Somebody made a swift decision on some type of career move, okay? This is a devil worshiper, y'all. This is somebody that's made agreements with Satan, tried to get out of it, realized that they could not. They are afraid because a lot of people that they were connected to all over the world would not let them get out of this contract, okay? This is what I'm feeling. Show me what it is I need to see. Source of all things, I call upon your power and I ask that you protect me from whatever this evil energy is all over the entire globe. Let the message go out. Yeah, these are powerful people. Very powerful people, okay? People that uh, money is not an issue, okay? They're exempt from money. It's not about money. This is about souls. This is about power. This is about living forever. This is what this is about for them. What the world is preoccupied with by way of material gain, money, things of that nature, they're not. This is about power and respect by way of uh, wanting to live forever, wanting to outdo God, wanting to capture God. This is what they feel they're doing when they're dealing with divine beings. The emperor is here. It brings me to Revelation, something about that seventh seal. Okay, this is what it gives me. Somebody wants to get close to that seventh seal. The emperor, a leader, a boss, somebody responsible, a king. Okay, top leaders, people that have a lot of past investments. Not just in this particular lifetime, but past lifetimes. This is giving me lineage, judgment over their lineage, warlock energy. Okay. Show me what it is that I need to see. Yeah, seven of wands. They got some powerful ancestors or so they thought, but they're under judgment. Somebody doesn't like the fact that we are divinely protected. The ancestors are calling judgment over this energy. These are the people that run the world, y'all, but from the underworld. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not a surface thing. A lot of what we see has been filtered by way of what it is that they want us to see, by way of the media, the news, those things. Okay, we know that. We're too awakened not to know that. Okay? Why is that seven of wands here? I'm getting an ancestral disturbance. I can't make it up. Something's disturbing their dead. Something's disturbing their ancestors. By way of us awakening to the capacity that we are. Because now, energetically, we're outranking them. We did not have to sell our souls. We did not have to uh, buy our power. We just tapped into it and we awakened to the true divinity within us. And their ancestors are really running amok. Three of Pentacles is collaboration. Here's my King of Swords. There he is. Now, in the previous reading, he came up in reverse. He was real nasty. Okay? Real bitter. But now he's shifting his energy. Show me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth with this person that I saw. Show me this person, please, and thank you. Source of all things, you gave me permission. Here we go. He's a fire sign. Okay, he could be a fire sign. Show me what else I need to see. This person could be going through some type of a divorce or something like that. Whoever their partner is, they could have done something by way of sacrificing this person. This person could have been married to a high priestess. These are people with a lot of power. Okay, what I mean by that is you have had people with a lot of money come to them to get energy from them, siphoned from children, innocent children is what I'm getting. The same things that they did to us when we were children. Remember, your karmic mama, your karmic daddy, everybody trying to steal your power and block your, okay, they're still doing that now. This, that, that's, I mean, you know, let's not be surprised, right? Knight of Wands, possibly a fire sign. Let's just, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say that he's embodying a lot of energies by way of being a shapeshifter. Nine of Wands, he's pretty promiscuous. 
He could be uh, trying to get close to some of the women in the church. Okay. Lustful energy. He's got a lot of past investments. This person could have wanted to fly right, fly straight, just leave everything behind. But he's starting to realize that some of those blood oaths that he took, okay, these contracts that he signed in blood that his forefathers signed, he can't get away from. So he just kind of gave in. He sure did. He sure did. Four of Wands. This person could be married. Something about a church house. Show me this person. Please uncloak this energy. Show me the truth. Not the past investment. Show me the truth. What's currently going on with this person. He's under judgment. He knows it. He's fighting tooth and nail. Spirit says, what I'm about to tell you is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. He knows that the truth is coming out. He went back into the dark arts. This person left the dark arts for maybe four years. Okay. He left. He did. He tried. He really wanted to fly straight, fly right. The devil kept calling, baby. The devil was tapping at him, waking him up. He was a very powerful satanic worker, and he still is. And you know what he did? He surrendered. He gave in because he felt like he couldn't get past it. I can't make it up. The will of fortune in reverse. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's why the Ace of Swords is here, because what you see here is on the surface Good person, good guy, great leader, very knowledgeable, man of God, great communicator, wants balance and justice for all the divine beings. This is how he presents himself. So what he did was he came in and told his testimony. He could have possibly shared how, you know, he had some dark things happen to him in his past. And this is what really won the people over and what really opened up their hearts to trust this person. Now this person's behind the scenes trying to collaborate with other leaders all over the world because they don't like these high priestess, specifically feminine energy. Okay. They don't like these high priestess. So they're connecting with people all over the entire globe. Very, very powerful people. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting Spain. I'm getting Puerto Rico. I'm getting Nigeria. I'm getting the Ivory Coast. I'm getting Jamaica. I'm getting Trinidad. I'm getting uh, uh, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Or how do you say that? Is that how you say it? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that. Heavy on the Trinidad. I'm getting Mexico. Brazil. This person's connected. Wouldn't take less than $50,000 to $100,000 to kill somebody within 21 days. This person knows that the truth is coming out, okay? This person tried to walk in the truth, y'all. And I feel like whoever these connections were all over the world, they made it really hard for this person to try to get out. They came for this person with everything that they had. They came for this person. This person does not like that feminine nature. He's cloaked himself in whoever this wife is, her energy for a long time. Not a wands. He could have hidden from her that he's very promiscuous the whole time. This person cheated in the marriage and she probably never knew. She, he was absolutely married or is married to a high priestess. I feel as though she's awakening. He really hates and or detests women who have a third eye awakening and they have a spiritual gift. Very misogynistic envies young men as well because of how agile and how much momentum they have stamina okay there's a jealousy there these are the things that he struggles with and we all have something that we're dealing with right but to this level this person's been through hell to hell and went back to hell consciously and is back doing the dark arts over people that are holy the devil really shook him up he tried to walk in the light, though. I'm going to be honest with you. He tried. Mm-hmm. Four of wands. The moment he went back into the darkness, whoever this wife is, she knew it. She wants a divorce. She wants out. She sees what he's doing. He's on a crusade. He could be traveling, touring, going all over the place, trying to uh, deal with uh, holy people, going into the holy land. You know, these are like the final stretches. This is like the final judgment. This is judgment, honey. Gabriel is not playing. Source of all things says Gabriel is not playing around with what is about to happen. Judgment angels have been loosed over the entire globe into places that people don't even don't even realize. Okay. 
are happening. Nevertheless, this person is stressed out. Nine of Swords. Doesn't know what to do. Headaches. Lost. Sleepless nights. Can't, can't work. Can't sleep. Something's going on with the marriage. Okay. This is what it is. Show me what else I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, page of wands, something about children. Okay, so this is the biggest next step is the children. Keep your children close to you. Teach them the way so that they don't deviate their ways or go about what the world is telling them is right so that they don't leave the most high and they can always hear the creator of all things. Hold on, y'all. Okay, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Somebody knocked on my door. <laughs> but nevertheless, let me just tell you something. Whoever this person is, they're very, very connected, okay? Very connected. All over the world. I'm being guided to take the world. This person's done magic recently over children and or the divine feminine. Because once you affect the portal from which life can come and you affect the feminine nature, her body solar plex sexual energy you can absolutely affect a nation a woman can give birth to a nation of men women and children so this person is being forced to be on assignment nine of swords he's stressed out us on these public platforms all these beautiful high priestess shout out to y'all truth tellers i know a lot of you follow me on here and i follow you as well i'm not able to watch a lot of you but I'm aware of you energetically by way of the ethers. And I know that some of you follow me here. Okay. But I see your platforms. I get a glimpse of them when I am able to be online y'all. And I just want you to know that the most high is backing us so much. So that we have pissed off people all over this entire globe. Now just watch them. They'll be in the comments here. Okay. It's the slick comments. It's the ones that don't resonate with the message. You know, it's the weird comments. Those are undercover agents. Those are people coming in fake and phony. This is why the Knight of Pentacles is here because it's a breadcrumb offer. It's not real soul tribe family. These people are agents. They're doing work over the platforms. They don't want people to listen to the truth. They don't want people to know the truth from fiction. Okay. But we're too awakened for that. We can't go back to sleep. Even if some of us went back to sleep. Okay. It's like what? We're going to see you in our dreams. Like what are you doing? We already saw the truth. It's too late. Oh my God, they saw the truth. Put them back to sleep. Okay. So whatever you're doing by way of the atmosphere, whatever you're doing by way of trying to open up portals and or astral projection, it's a wrap. It's over. You're going to need to take that L. Take that L. It's a loss. It's over. Listen, nine of pentacles. They're hiding out in the comments, behind fake platforms, all, all kind of weird stuff. They don't really care about the people that's out there just you know, not speaking the truth, something that's not going to shake up your soul, right? If this message makes you uncomfortable, then that's good. Whether somebody wants to admit it or not, if it shakes up your soul and you feel something telling you something, okay, and you resonate with it again, whether you want to admit that or not, that's good. That's called the awakening. Something's telling you, pay attention, pay attention to this. Because at the end of the day, when this video is done, you got to sit back with your higher self. You got to go back to your higher spirit team and say, okay, what Neff said, what do you think about that? You might even pull the cards on it. That's fine. The truth needs no explanation. The three of wands, I'm telling you, these are people all over the world. They've been defeated, heartbroken. Wanting to devour the hearts of divine feminine energy is what I saw. This person was begging me. Oh my God, you're so powerful. Okay, we'll give you anything. Would you say, I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm in the dream state with an attitude. Like, if you don't get the hell away from me, I had a straight up queen of swords attitude. Excuse me. I will not. I won't sell my soul to the devil, you or anybody else. I got a promise 
that I got to keep with my Abba. I don't give a damn what you give. Oh, we'll give you fame. We'll give you this. We'll give you that. This is what this person was saying. Please, 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 please. Again, being controlled by the devil was not strong enough to stay up out of Satan's camp, was tested. Now, the creator of all things don't test nobody. But the creator of all things came down and tempted this person. And this person went right back into Satan's camp. Right? It was too hard being good, baby. Because good was not in him. He tried. He tried. Nine of Pentacles. Slow moving energy. Virgo energy. Again, it's telling me. This nine of pentacles is giving me purity, virgin, innocent, young people, young women, young boys, pure energy, trying to devour their heart, trying to get their power. This is what they want. This is why the divine feminine is somebody that they're coming for. Why do you think that there's so many pregnant women in the media that can't sit their ass down and just be pregnant? They want them to give birth to, to demon spawns. There is no way that a woman in the public eye, okay, who's pregnant, a celebrity, should be rapping F my baby daddy. Okay, y'all know who the person is. What do you think you're giving birth to? What do you think you're giving birth to? No respect of the woman. Nasty, raunchy, you know, for the streets, for the community. Nothing about family and togetherness, glamorizing, being, uh, uh, you know, just this low vibrational woman who's now giving birth to children. If to even call them that. Because they're innocent, but it's the energy that they're channeling. Pay attention, because those of us that are awakened, we can see right through them. Like, what are you doing? F your baby daddy. What are you giving birth to? How's the child going to feel about that? If you're saying F your baby's father, the lovers, I told you, hate. Karmic relationships, they like this stuff. They like this low vibrational stuff. Why? Because these people are easy to control. They have not awakened. They're still very much asleep. They're like puppets. That's it. Show me this person. Queen of Wands. Here we go. Queen of Wands. This person likes to cloak themselves in feminine energy. Does not like the high priestess. Cannot stand us. Sees us as like roaches. Wants to get rid of us. Has deep-seated mother issues. Something could have happened in childhood with their mother. Somehow they saw their mother as stupid. So when they come across very intelligent high priestess, intuitive women, it intimidates them. This person works straight from their shadow. Tried to heal, but didn't. I told you there's mama issues here. The empress, fertility, pregnant women. Why is pregnant women in the media the way that they are? Why and what are they telling you about being pregnant? What are they telling you about the children that they're carrying? What are they telling you? What is the image that they're presenting? Because whatever they're showing you is what they want you to be. Careful what you allow to go into your eye gaze. These people, they want that feminine energy. There's so much feminine energy here. There's so much feminine energy here. They want the emotions of the people. These are people all over the world, y'all. These are really high, serious spiritual practitioners. Whoever this person is, he's not even as high ranked as a lot of the people above him, but he is being used. Show me this person. Uncloak his energy, please, and thank you. Because he sure came to me begging me in the dream. <laughs> Fell right on top of the Queen of Wands. Maybe he's a fire sign. I don't know. He's coming up as a knight of wands, very promiscuous. I know one thing, his wife is about to leave him. He knows it. She's awakening. She's a high priestess. She was in a karmic situation with this person for a really long time. The moon is here. Here he is. Hey there. Hi there. Hello there. The moon, a hidden enemy. Creating smoke signals. Something's not as it seems. This person absolutely does work with Santa Marita. But he tries to trick her to call down, you know, premature death, miscarriages. When he knows that women are pregnant with earth angel babies, he likes to pray for miscarriages to happen so that that divinity does not get born into the world. They don't like all this love that we got. 
They're coming for the lovers. This is why those twin flame journeys were so important. We didn't really understand it. We couldn't really figure it out. Why is it just me being in love with somebody such a big deal? Because when you're in love and that person's in love and you're in love with yourself and you love the creator, then you co-create and you create more love. And with that, hate just absolutely does not exist. Somebody practices Santaria in a dark way. Not to disrespect anybody's lineage or what it is that you're into, but some of these practicing some dark ass Ifa, some dark ass Santaria. This could be practitioners all over the world though that I'm picking up, but in a dark way, this is abuse of power. Heavy on the Palo Mayambe. This person's a straight devil worshiper though. He goes straight to the devil himself. He's killed enough people that he can go to the devil himself. His wife is leaving him. Queen of Pentacles. He's been cloaking himself in her energy for a really long time. A really long time. Very promiscuous. Okay. Not a decent man and or in order. Something's real significant about his children. They could also be leaving him because somebody's watching him put on this image, this act, this role. Oh, I'm a preacher. I'm a minister. And he's traveling all around the world. Okay. He's on assignment. Going from church to church to church. Why? Because the time is almost up. But what he is doing though also, let me tell you the blessing in it and how the most high is allowing it. He's exposing the fake people, the fake believers. Those of us that are really, really rooted in the truth. We're not taking a deal with the devil. I'm not selling my soul to you. But what? Queen of Pentacles, his wife is leaving him. His, his, his children, he can have daughters, okay? He had them for a specific reason person will sacrifice whom they need to six of cups his past is catching up to him and he's afraid because his shadows come for him in the night so now he's trying to beg what is it that you want me to do the devil's like yo it's people on platforms they're telling the truth they're awakening they awaken the other high priests the soul tribe family this is what the devil is giving him by way of his assignment just like we sit with our abba and we get our divine assignment these people get their assignments yeah His family is not well with this. Somebody knows that he's faking. Maybe they didn't even know that he was into this prior to this. But now he's losing his whole family. Show me what else I need to see. And he's afraid to die and burn in hell. He's seen hell. He knows what it is. He wants a new beginning. He wants to get into that divine light. Do not allow him. The moon, queen of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles, he knows that the divine is helping us. He knows and a whole bunch of other people know. He put in a phone call to some very powerful people, okay? Trying to get projections of the next year, but a lot of them are losing power because they can't feed off of people that are awakened and high vibrational. They can only go after people that are still asleep. This is why they're coming for the young people. People out here still, you know, promiscuous, sleeping with a whole bunch of people, don't care. You know, they got the baby in the middle of mess and cursing, fighting and all of that. Like, what is that? I saw a video of a mother with her child and she's cursing out the father. And I'm thinking, yo, hold up. Do you know that this person will eventually be an adult? Now we got to undo his shadows and don't give him no more shadows. This is what a lot of us had to undo at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, still undoing stuff that happened to us when we were very, very innocent. So these people want this to repeat. They're not that creative. Yeah, I can't make it up. Four swords. They're being put to rest. The final call, the ace of pentacles. They're being put to rest, y'all. They don't like the fact that we're healing and loving and coming out with this Ace of Pentacles energy because it's letting them know that something very, very powerful is backing us. Even when they didn't want to say that it was, they got to admit that it is. I told you their wish is not being fulfilled. I just heard the devil's been stripped of all his power. They're following a God, a deity that is, is being banished. What does that mean? Time's up. Nine of Cups in the reverse. No wishes for you, my friend. It's going to be a happy world. Listen, Ten of Cups. We here. We in this thing. We're awakened. We know who we are. We can see just fine. You can't take our sight. You can't take our crowns. Because this Ace of Pentacles is in the right hand of the creator of all things. So if you want it, 
Go talk to God about it. Go talk to the God above all the gods. Not them gods that you petitioning. This person was real cocky. Oh, I'm Paolo Mayumbe. I got a God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, who you think control them demons? The creator of all things. We keep trying to tell you, and we're not trying to be boastful. But at this point, we got to stick our breastplate of righteousness out in your face because you want to denounce the creator of all things with your blaspheming self. Listen, the right hand. This is, where our, this is where our blessings are. That's us. We're the pentacle. See us in that right hand? You want that power? You want our children? Then go up against the creator of all things to get it. I promise you, you will be defeated. The creator of all things? All things that created even you? Okay. Well, you know. It's a very creative, toxic, dark-ass plan that's going to fail. Yeah, this is about power. We're growing in numbers, growing in strength. Believe it or not... There are more people awakened than what they show us in the media and by way of what we can see. No more astral projecting over certain areas, wishing death and sickness over certain areas. This is what these demonic forces do. As soon as the sun goes down, as soon as that sun goes down and it's nighttime, because the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. Listen. They go get in a dark assignment. Where I got to go? They find boroughs, cities, states to astral project over, to curse, to send sickness, to send death. This is what they do. But one thing they cannot do is touch the city, the state, the zip code where the Most High has planted a divine being. For I am blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. They try to astral project over that and it's one person in the city that's praying. It don't matter. There's one. They got to back up. Oh, there's too much God over there. Oh, okay. They're reading scripture. They're praying. They're calling out to the creator of all things. A lot of them tried to astral project recently, y'all, and, and can't get up out the bed for the next assignment by the time the sun go down. They're going to miss that assignment. And I'm telling you the truth. Something's real significant about 4 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and midnight. Show me what else I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. They tried to take the children's gifts. They cannot take our children's gifts. Remember, we're the good ancestors, so we're acting accordingly. We didn't broke every single curse. Loosen those archangels into them dark-ass realms. Got Satan's camp all messed up. Brain scrambled. Magic ain't working. They're just dreaming about the power that they used to have. But they're fallen angels, honey. Fallen from grace. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They could not take our children's gifts. They wanted to affect your stability. All of a sudden, you going to court, you getting evicted, and you getting this. Listen, these are people connected. They know who you are. They're spying on us and watching us with willpower that surpasses their understanding of how the heck are we getting out of this. I keep telling y'all, you want to use all this dark ass energy. Cow's tongues and cow hearts and wishing heart attacks and sickness and you don't even have the power to do so anymore. The Most High was using you by allowing you to be whatever it was that you needed to be in order for us to awaken. But now that that time is up, there's no use for this level of dark ass energy. They're spying on us, trying to understand how we getting all this willpower coming together. They're like, wait a minute. They tried to put the curses back on, back on your children. Page of Pentacles. I can't make it up. The Most High was like, you will not touch these children. Their parents are obedient. They're not stiff neck. They're not hard head. They're obedient. They're listening to me. You cannot touch what it is that they're producing. Mm -mm -mm. The universe is giving us equal give and take. Giving us our fair share. Stay focused on the goal. Stay focused. Every single contract that somebody tried to project into your future has already been canceled. Okay. Somebody wanted you to have, you know, God forbid, a bad next year. It's not going to work. It's over. We're too awakened. 
The Most High is making it so to where the universe is being fair. Whatever these people wish and want, it's only going to apply to their lives if they even have a life left. And it's sad. It's a victory. They know it. Whoever this person is, this person is terrified. They came to me in this dream and he was terrified. He offered me everything, y'all. A lot of money, a lot of protection, a lot of whatever the hell the devil didn't told him he got power. I said, hell to the no. There is no way. If this is a test at this level, I pass. I'm good. You keep that. Look like you got a whole bunch of problems by where you taking some promises and some agreements and some contracts. I'm not about to get in that sick bed with y'all burning in hell. Hell to the no. Sure did. He came to me begging. I'm like, yo, I'm in the dream like you. Oh, my God. When I get my when I get these, you know, these downloads, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, the gift of seeing sometimes, my loves, y'all already know it ain't all it's cracked up to be. But baby, it is the gift that the creator gave me for a long time. It felt like a curse, but now I know that it's a blessing and I thank the creator for it. Please let us use our gifts for that, which is good to help those people that really, really, truly are aligning themselves with the creator of all things. It says test the spirit by the spirit, baby. It's at the heart of the matter. The hearts of the people are being tested. They have no more tricks to pull. They're way down, y'all. They don't like us coming here. Being honest, helping y'all. Helping you get through trauma. Helping you go back into the past and undo something that happened to you when you were 10. Or letting you know that, yo, listen, this is going to happen for you or this is good. They don't like that. Because it's only by weight and permission of the Most High that we're able to see anything. Sometimes in your readings, if it's something that the Most High don't want me to see, then I'm not supposed to see it. Because maybe the Creator is required for you to go within and see it for yourself. I'm only able to see what my Abba tells me to see and what my Abba tells me to say. I stay in alignment with that and that is it. Why? Because I know what being disobedient feels like. I know what making a situation uh, to be a situation that's not for me, try to make it one that's not. I know what it feels like to be with a karmic man. It's like, I'm going to make this person the person. Psh, okay, keep playing. Okay. To where the creator's like, can you hear me now? I'm like, yeah, I hear you. Okay, what is it that you need me to do? <laughs> I told you when the day I, my bed shook. I was like, you too. I want to go to that day on YouTube. I cried. I didn't want to go to YouTube. Most high was like, be obedient and do what I told you to do. There's people there that you got to talk like, oh my God. <laughs> That's why I barely show my face because I'm not here for face. <laughs> like I'm here to be about that work. And I don't denounce people that show their face. It's just not what I just want people to hear my voice and hear what it is that I got to say because it's important. We'll get into all the kissy face stuff when we see each other in the 3D, okay? I'm a real person. <laughs> Nevertheless, that was my conversation with the creator. But these people are way down, y'all. They're stuck like a truck. They tried to astral project last night and curse certain boroughs and cities, but it's like too much light. Not only that, the power that we have, you know, like myself, I see y'all in the 5D and above, you supernatural beings. You got the power to throw that light all the way a million miles away. You throwing light from Mars, Pluto, drawing energy from the sun. Like, what is going on? It is the keys that we have. We got access to the realms outside of this world. Seeing things from a bird's eye view. Understanding that light is something that you have access to. Has been your best awakening asset. Ooh. Anything else, anything else, anything else. Yeah, the sun. I told you. My, listen, I'm going to tell you something. My spirit guides got a really funny sense of humor and so do my angels. Because just as I said, we're pulling energy from the sun. Here's the sun. It's giving me raw energy, y'all. It's giving me sun. Yeshua HaMashiach, the sons and daughters. God's favorite children, the chosen ones, the golden children. This is your time. Will you please stand up and take your rightful place? You already have. It's just a matter of time, whatever that is. The Most High said, I got y'all in my right hand. Whom shall you fear? 
If it's death that you fear, then did you not survive the last 50,000 death spells? <laughs> and if I, the creator, said that I see fit for you to still be here, then who can come for your life? Only I know the day, the hour, and the time. Do you know these demonic forces are going back to these people saying the God that these people serve says we can't touch them? Do you understand that? Okay. The sun is here. All things have been illuminated and or seen. Protect your sons and daughters. Okay. Yeah. They wanted us stuck, y'all. They tried to affect our stability. You know, your housing situation. A lot of that stuff was divinely orchestrated to happen that way so that you could focus on the creator. Yeah, you are the high priestess. It's okay. The Most High allowed it. It's okay. Because the Most High says, I'm still going to show you that my servant, my child, my chosen one is not going to bow down to your laws and to your gods. Okay? A lot of people, uh, you know, unlawfully got locked out of stuff. Weird ass lawsuits and stuff happening in court. And you're like, is this real? The police ain't doing nothing. You're like, is this real? Yeah, they under contracts. That's why. They're under contracts. To come for the divine beings. And guess what? The moment we eliminated fear and got together and everything was illuminated, you literally dismantled Satan's camp just by sitting down and standing up, just by walking, just by your very presence, illuminating so much light that the darkness was like, oh my God. They ain't got control over no sickness, no diseases. They was conjuring up gods and all kinds of stuff. I cannot make it up, y'all. They were conjuring up, you know, deities to cause sickness and death and all of this and that. Leave Corona's ass alone. Put her to rest, honey. Y'all been trying to manipulate that energy for the longest time. Y'all had a whole bunch of time to try to play with the food and play with the immunizations and play with the children. And now the schools look like the, the penitentiary. Listen. Okay. Time's up, though. I cannot make it up. I think I make it up. They got to walk away. Whoever this pastor is, this minister, this person is not doing too good. Okay. May the most high have mercy on him though. Cause I feel like I'm going to tell you what I feel. I feel like he really tried to get out of this. I feel like he's tied into this by way of his bloodline, his lineage, possibly the father and the mother. Something happened there. Somebody did some type of witchcraft, maybe trying to better their life or something they got tricked into. And he just ended up becoming a pawn y'all. This is really what I feel. Not to, not to make light of the situation, but may the Most High have mercy on his soul because he really tried to get out of this. I really feel like he saw something by way of the future, by way of his lineage, that he was willing to compromise his marriage, his children, because they're leaving him. They found out who he is. They know what he is. They know that he's still doing it. And they thought, hey, listen, this is an opportunity for us to be free. He just he just found it hard to stay in the divinity. He found it hard to stay amongst all that light. So he renewed his contract with the devil. And now he's grieving. And now he has to go away. His time is up. Whoever this pastor is, whoever this minister is. And he's got connections, y'all, all over this entire globe. These people take millions of dollars to get stuff done. He wants to apologize, but he's got to take it up with our Abba. He's going back and forth, thinking in his mind, trying to balance things out, hoping, hoping that nobody sees that he's sneaky and deceptive. He's coming up as a spiritual leader, minister, I can't make it up, Hierophant. Behind closed doors, he is the moon energy. He works with death. He works with the devil, dark ass entities. Has a closet, a, a, a cavern or whatever the hell he got in his house, a cave or something where he works with dark energies. And they're always cloaked so that they can't be seen. Five of cups, I can't make it up. There's grief to these people. They're walking away. They're hiding. They could have certain parts of the world where they built, you know, uh, a place for them to go when these natural catastrophes come to wipe them out. When I say they have pissed off the creator of all things, the creator said, oh, okay. Because when God is silent, that's really when people need to get afraid. Because now he's allowing you to have this free will energy. You get a choice to choose the good, the bad, or the ugly. Whatever you choose, you're being held accountable to that. Page of Cups, a big apology. 
excuse me, a big apology, trying to bring things into balance. Thinking about back and forth. Okay, what's going to go on? This person's mind is all over the place. They cannot sleep at night. That's why that nine of swords is here. Three of swords are heartbroken. Going through some type of separation and a divorce. And they realize that they got tricked. The creator gave this person a chance to come into divinity, to do right, to help people, to come in and reveal to them what the schemes of the enemy is, to help them. He took that deal with the devil. He couldn't stay out long. He just, he had been doing it for so long that he didn't know what to do. And he went back sneaky and deceptive, thinking that he wasn't going to get caught trying to cloak himself in people's energy that were pure. Okay. People in the church that pray, elders, children. He wanted to hide up under that energy. He wanted to use them as a shield, sneaky and deceptive. And now he's realizing that he's been fooled. He got fooled by the devil. He got tricked. Yeah. All he had to do was continue walking that good walk. And we all got that test. At every level, y'all, it's going to be some type of test. Even right now, with the level that we're going to, by way of, you know, us being over the radio broadcasting systems in the media, the public eye, there's going to be offers. There's going to be people that are going to come along. They're going to offer for you to be a part of their covens. I've already gotten a whole bunch of offers. High ranked people that come in like, hey, I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, let me read the fine print. Oh, sell my soul. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> like, what are you thinking? You want to, because when, when you come to test us, you testing my Abba. You tempting my Abba. To wrath and destruction. That is finished above and below. So mo to be. Listen, spiritual practitioners, they're getting exposed. Eight of swords. They wanted us to feel trapped. They wanted to bind themselves to us, to cloak themselves in our energy. It's not happening. They're watching every single last one of us, y'all, on these platforms. So when your phone gets to getting wonky or all of a sudden you can't make a comment or your comment disappears or whatever that is, yeah, it's them. Death is here. They wanted a lot of us gone. Look, this just fell in my lap. The tower and the two of cups. The tower and the two of cups in reverse. These are fake ass offers because why? We're turning down their offers. There's no amount of money that you could give us to sell our souls. No. We heard the people screaming in hell. Hell is real. I'm not going there with you. Not consciously. You think, you think I'm going to do that in my right mind? Okay. I already been there unconsciously. I chose that when I chose that relationship. Unconsciously. That was hell. Right. But now that I'm conscious, now that my mercy and grace is what it is, my Abba corrects me quickly. I can't afford to make that type of mistake. Somebody's asking you to go back to sleep. What the hell? For what? Death is here. Destruction in the tower. Justice. Somebody's paranoid. Somebody knows. Somebody's watching the tarot card readers, whoever this high vibrational, uh, seemingly high vibrational practitioner is. Excuse me. You know, for the people, for Jesus, rocking and rolling, whoever they are, they're watching us in the public eye to see if their story is going to come out. This person's already had dreams about it. That's why the Nine of Swords was there because they was up in the middle of the night. When you got up in the witching hour, they was up in the witching hour because <laughs> they already saw it in their dreams, baby, that we are about to expose them. Somebody else could be channeling the same energy right now. It's very, very possible. Maybe in a different way. Maybe to a different group of people. Maybe that's their soul tribe. Maybe the truth needs to be told to somebody else a certain way. And that's why God chose that person. But it is the same story. The truth don't change. It needs no explanation. It just might look a little bit differently. Might sound a little bit different. But it's the same today, yesterday, tomorrow. And it always will be. This is the message though. I love y'all. For all the people that uh, send me money in the super chat. Just if you can send it to the cash app. Super Chat, let me tell you, I'll explain Super Chat to y'all later. If you want to send it in Super Chat, you know what? I appreciate that. I really do. I do. I'm very, very grateful. I thank you for that. Thank you for uh, just appreciating the energy that it takes. And if the story resonates with you, honestly, that's enough for me. I'm going to just be real with y'all. That in itself just pays me in a way that can't be bought. It makes my heart feel good that I'm really sitting here helping somebody that Maybe their story needed to be told or maybe you just needed confirmation or maybe you got the download too. whatever this story was good for. I pray that it helps you in life. You know, be more mindful. So I thank you for that.
But nevertheless, all my information is down below. I'm only doing the 30 minute reading, y'all. 30 minutes. <laughs> Email me if you need a longer time and then we'll talk about it. But I love you, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Until the next video, as always, peace be with you.